Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this week's episode of Area 601 Outdoors. In this episode, come along with me as I take a small trip along Section 6 of the New Mexico Backcountry Discovery Route. This is just a small portion of this epic route set up for adventure motorcyclists looking to test their skills off the beaten path and almost entirely on the dirt. The route starts in the southeast corner of the state, near Dell City then weaves its way all over the place to the westernmost part of the state through the breathtaking national forest that is the Gila. It then traverses all the way back up and over to north central New Mexico, ending just over the border in the small town of Antonito, Colorado. On this day, I decided to go check out a legendary place, one of my favorite places in the world, a place called Zuni Salt Lake. Enjoy the time-lapse footage here down the mesa and across the flats as I go visit this amazing volcanic lake. Make sure to stay tuned as I explain the history of this sacred ancient Mar Lake. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of my adventures. That was a little run from up on the mesa. And this is a sacred lake. It's called Zuni Salt Lake. It's a pretty amazing place. It's starting to dry up over there. You can see it's kind of white. And that would be the south east corner. So this this lake is the top of a volcano crater. We're in it right here. And uh, yeah, it fills about, I think they say like six to 12 inches of water on the top. Really saline water. Ends up drying out. You know, this is May going, come out here in June, July, and water will be gone. And this whole thing will be white, uh, full of salt. And, uh, Old rumors say, as the wind picks up, the old, I shouldn't say rumors, old stories that I've personally read say that Zuni, the Zuni people, the, the Native Americans, they used to take uh, the Zuni trail from Zuni here. As the crow flies, I'm going to say 40 miles or so. Could be a little off, give or take on that. And since basically the beginning, and there's what they call it, uh, the, the Zuni salt god. Um, and they would come down here and harvest the lake. Uh, they would then basically take the salt they'd harvest back to Zuni, use it for cooking, use it for, you know, whatever, sell it to lo people that came through or locals. Um, kind of going more into the history. It then became owned by the United States government. And back in, we're gonna call it 90s or maybe early 2000s, somewhere in there, 
there's a big mining company. They wanted to come up and they wanted to strip mine for coal all um, north of here. And the Zuni people obviously didn't want anything to do with that. The main reasoning is that doing that would decrease the water levels in the area and basically make Zuni Salt Lake no more. So that was a big fight that they went through, I think, for years on end. And they ended up winning that. The Zuni people did. They were not allowed to strip, you know, the, the, the area for coal. I'm not really going any further. I'm respecting that, that this is not, you know, my land. Technically, this is their land, and I don't want to disrespect anything. But as you might be able to see, there's some buildings down there. Uh, there's even something like almost a pier-like thing that comes out. Something cool that I noticed, the GoPro probably doesn't pick up, but towards me, there's actually a white strip of what it looks like is salt in the water, I'm guessing from the water starting to evaporate that it's actually solidifying on this side now, like it is over there on the southeast side. So, yeah, cool ride down here. Now I'm gonna go and adventure towards St. John's, Arizona, out that way. That's kind of the land of unknown. I've known about this. I never came up here and looked at this until the last time I was here. Um, obviously just respecting it and whatnot, but yeah, it's beautiful. It's an amazing place. Um, yeah, check it out if you ever get the chance to. That being said, if you do, respect it. It's not our land. You know, I'm sure it, I can't even imagine. My mind, when I come up here and it's just quiet and I think, I think about how crazy times must have been for those Zunis back in the day coming here and just oh, pilgrimage. It took weeks, maybe months just to come and mine the salt. So it's amazing, respect it, come check it out. I'm gonna end this on the silence around here because the silence around here is amazing. I might take a little walk too while I'm silent. So. Go to south. Don't be stupid. Make one wrong turn.